What's going on, everyone? I'm Brandon Hofstra. Welcome into another episode of Today in the NA. We have a good one in store for you today as we've got the last Players of the Month awards for 2023, weekend matchups, and plenty of alumni monthly awards. But before that, let's highlight the latest NCAA commitments. Maine Nordiques forward Nick Romeo made his commitment to play in the Hockey East Conference for UMass and Lowell. Romeo played a key role in Maine's early success this season and has since moved up to play for the Dubuque Fighting Saints. The New York native played 16 games for the Nords where he recorded 13 goals and 8 assists. Romeo made his return on New Year's Eve in the NHL against the Philadelphia Rebels. Lone Star winger Justin Kerr announced that he will be playing Division I hockey at Bowling Green State University in the 2025-26 season. Kerr is playing his first season of junior hockey and is off to a stellar start as he's tallied 12 goals and 29 points in 34 games played, placing him seventh across the entire South Division. The Brahmas and Kerr are both on hot streaks in the South, Lone Star winning three straight games with Kerr recording at least a point in their last five contests. Hats off and best of luck to those guys on furthering their academic and athletic journeys. As we move forward into the new year, we'll take one last look at the NAHL's monthly awards in 2023. Oliver Salo of the Anchorage Wolverines takes in the honors of Forward of the Month. Salo tore up the Midwest Division in December, logging five goals and ten assists across nine games. His strongest outing came on the 30th, where he deposited a goal and four assists in Anchorage's 7-2 victory over the Chippewa Steel. The Finnish forward also lit the lamp twice against the Janesville Jets on December 9th in a 3-2 shootout victory. December's Defenseman of the Month is awarded to Maine's David Hellady. The Bentley University commit was a key part of the Nordiques' December dominance where they came out victorious in eight of their nine matchups. His best overall performance came on the 1st of December against the New Jersey Titans, posting three points in a 6-2 win. And last but not least, Janesville's Matthew Alberti has claimed the goaltender of the month for his efforts. Alberti was on fire in the month of December, allowing just 11 goals on 227 shots across seven games played. His impressive 6-0-1 record is paired with a 1.57 goals against average and a .951 save percentage. Those statistics including a 36-save shutout on the 16th against the Kenai River Brown Bears. In 23 games played so far throughout the season, Alberti has won 17 of those and sits 6th overall in save percentage across the league. Speaking of awards, plenty of NAHL alumni gathered NCAA monthly honors heading into the new year. Let's highlight a few of those guys. Former Brahmin, current Princeton University netminder Arthur Smith secured a ECAC Goaltender of the Month award. Smith appeared in four contests over the course of the month and finished with a 3-0-1 record. One of those wins on the 8th of December against Sacred Heart University is where he picked up his first career shutout. Across the month, he had a 1.76 goals against average and a .935 save percentage. Another NAHL goaltender from the 22-23 season is tearing it up as a freshman, that being Cole Moore with Bowling Green State University. Moore played in six games and stopped 208 pucks through December, finishing with a 3-3 three three record. The former Aberdeen wing picked up his first career shutout on the 8th against Fair State University. Alfred Lindbergh of American International College, also AIC, picked up the Atlantic Hockey's Rookie of the Month for his efforts. The former New Mexico Ice Wolf was dominant, scoring at least a point in all seven games played. The Sweden native averaged 1.85 points per game with six goals and seven assists and was crucial to AIC's record in the month of December. Standout defenseman last year for Springfield and Fairbanks, Matt Godowski had a spectacular month in December, good enough to earn him Atlantic Hockey's Defenseman of the Month. Currently playing for Army West Point, the freshman tallied an impressive seven points in three games he appeared in. Godowski turned heads in a matchup against Mercyhurst University where he recorded a goal and three assists in Army's 4-3 victory. Other former NAHLers picking up individual hardware include Wisconsin's Kyle McClellan, Clarkson's Ryan Taylor, Cornell's Ian Shane, Bentley's Nicholas Grabko, Mankato's Adam Isley, and Fair State's Travis Shouty. Over 30 games throughout the weekend will take place, including 15 tonight. Let's highlight a few important series to tune into this weekend. We'll begin in St. Cloud as the Norsemen host the Red Hot Minotauros for the first time this season. The visitors have won seven straight games and look to extend their 12-point lead at the top even further. The Norsemen sit third in the Central Division, but have fallen in recent play, going four and six in their last 10. Hosting the division leaders and picking up wins would be the ideal start for a team looking to turn things around in 2024. 
In the East Division, the first place Nordiques and second place Black Bears are three points separated, but that could change this weekend as they face off on Friday and Saturday at Piney Orchards Ice Arena. The Nordiques have came out on a winning side in eight of their last ten games and will want to extend their division lead as Maryland has a game in hand. The Black Bears host a weekend series for the first time since December 8th and 9th and will look to use their home ice advantage to swap with Maine in the standing. And finally, in the Midwest, the Wolverines are heading to the lower 48 to take on the second place Minnesota Wilderness in Cloquet, Minnesota. The visitors finished 2023 with a convincing sweep last weekend over the Chippewa Steel and are hoping to build that momentum and solidify their spot in the division standings. The Wilderness have struggled as of late as they've fallen in six of their last 10 games. These two have faced off only once so far this season when Minnesota defeated the Wolverines 4-1 back in mid-October in Anchorage, Alaska. Well, that's a wrap on today's episode. You can catch all these matchups and all games all season long exclusively on our streaming service, NAHL TV. Follow along with the action on our website. Be sure to check out our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube for all the latest news and highlights as well from around the league. Until next time, I'm Brandon Hofstra. Thanks for watching today.